Rabalco from Niles West, Morgan from Champaign Centennial, Jarris from Maperville North, Carson from Shepherd, the Blasi from Wabonzi Valley, and Hornback of Home at Fosmore. Adam Freedom, the first diver, and we have seven judges looking at his dive. Exactly. What will happen is on the dive, what they will do is they will take the two highest and two lowest scores, make those, and then take the remaining, the middle three, add those together, multiply by his DD degree of difficulty, and that will give him his total score for that dive. Adam scores coming out of the pool, 285 total points. If you notice here, what they're looking for is they're watching the approach, the takeoff, okay, how he completes the dive in the air and on his entry. Okay, nice toe point, and very little splash, it was a good dive. Okay, the next young man is Devin Aikens from Libertyville, doing a reverse dive pike, 1.7 is his degree of difficulty. Nice height. Got through the water. Probably need a little bit more toe point on his entry, but uh, otherwise a very, very nice dive. Nice top, nice high, high dive. Now, if you notice here, when he comes up here, very, very nice press and lift off the board. Okay, nice extension. Okay, and just at the end, he kind of pointed his toes a little bit, and that's why you have that splash there at the end. Next is Matt Smith. Doing the back one and a half somersault with one and a half twists free. High, high degree of difficulty dive because uh, there's a lot of twisting and somersaulting in it. Okay, you notice there didn't get quite as much height as the young man before, and so when he entered the water, you'll notice that he wasn't in the, the upright or the, you know, the vertical position. Still good scores. Again, if we watch on this, when he takes off, okay, as he's entering the water, you notice he's still bending his waist just a little bit. Eric Kelly from Rockford Christian. It's a back one, one half somersault. Okay, again, you'll notice there he seemed like when he entered the water, it was a little bit flat. Okay, sometimes that's because they don't take it up high enough or they lean away from the board a little too much. And you'll notice that his scores were down a little bit lower because of that. Here you watch when he presses, he presses away from the board. As he enters, you notice that he's a little bit flat there, quite a bit of splash at the end. Jake Bohm from Glenbrook South. This one's called a required dive. They have five required dives. This is an inward dive pike. Nice dive there. Just for those who may not know, they have to do five required dives, which means they must do one from each of the divisions, which are front dive, back dive, inward dive, a twister, and then also a reverse dive. And our first look at Victor Pagia, the defending state champion, now a senior. The pretty good lead coming here into the final. Okay, it's another on Victor here. Uh, outstanding press, gets a very, very good ride, as we call it, off the board. We'll see this in the replay. He presses down, lets the board do the work for him. Gets a very, very nice height, tight twist there. Okay, a little, little over twisting on his entry, but otherwise a, you know, a fantastic dive there. Certainly the degree of difficulty helped, and he is maintaining the lead with a very nice 42.9 on that dive, that, giving that, that him a total 366.1. Dan Rabal. Young man from Niles West. Dan's a junior. To watch on his replay here. Okay, he has a little bit of a skip there, which is a different technique. Good press. But you notice he's leaning forward first, which takes him a little bit off to the side of the board and a little bit short. Brings up Noah Morgan, a senior from Champaign Central. Forward dive here. Just pike, drop it straight down in the water. That was a very, very nice dive. It has a low DD because it is one of your required dives, but still a beautiful dive. Drop it straight in. Here again, you'll watch, okay? 
good press off the board. Okay, comes into what's called the pike position, extends his arms, drops it straight in the water, nice toe pointer there at the end. Noah, as you look, he's waiting for his score. He's pretty pleased with it. He's waiting. They have not been posted yet. He was in fifth coming into the finals and the last of the three. Got to keep your sense of humor. <laughs> Got to keep your sense of humor. <laughs> he's smiling. And he wants to know what his score is, but can't worry about it. It'll eventually come up. There you go. Seven and a half, sevens. Outstanding dive. Brings up Chad Jarrett, another one of the two divers whose teams are in the thick of things from Naperville North. These are important points for Naperville North in the battle for one of the trophies. Okay, not, bad, not a bad dive at all. You'll notice that when he takes off, he takes off away from the board first, doesn't get quite as much height, and as a result, his rotation slows down a little bit and comes up a little bit short, but to be at this level, you have to be doing a lot of things right. Okay, just a little bit short there. Next up is going to be Josh Karshen from Shepherd High School in Palace, Palos Heights. Those are good scores. That'll, that'll help him. Getting that first dive under your belt's got to feel very good. Exactly. They're, they're nervous right now. Even though they've done eight dives already, those were yesterday. And it's the only event here today that all eyes are on you. Exactly. Nobody's sharing the pool of the board with you while you're up there. We have a little bit of a break as he waits. Joshua, 401, we were dive this yeah, is one of, his back up. one of his required dives. One of his inward dives. Josh was the final diver to qualify for the finals, and that is a terrific accomplishment. Exactly. When you have 48 divers to make the top 12 is pretty impressive. Okay, very nice dive. Got a good, a good lift off the board. Nice pike position, held it. Drop it straight in the water, good toe point. Yeah, he should score well on this. And yes, he did. Watch this here, nice tight pike. Good toe point, extend, reaches for the water. Very nice score for Josh, being rewarded for just what we saw. Big smile on his face there, he should be pleased with himself. Oliver de Blasi, another senior from Obonsi Valley. He's doing a back one, one half somersault pike. DD 2.4. Oliver was in second place coming into the last three dives. Very nice dive. That's a difficult dive. Good press off the board. Held it tight. Okay, reached for that water and actually got a very nice entry. Five, five, nice drive off there. Tight position there. Good draw. Kind of, kind of went over a little bit there. Got a little splash at the end. And the final diver in the first round will be Ryan Hornback from Holman Flossmore. He's doing a back dive straight. Okay, one of his required dives. Okay, not too bad. Kind of arched his back a little bit on the entry, trying to save, as they call it, save it a little bit. Okay, uh, on, the, on the replay here, we're watching. Gets a nice press off the board, but then kind of leans away from the board a little bit. Okay, he lost a little bit of his height, but still a nice, a nice dive. Okay, this is their second dive in the finals. We have Adam Freeman up again from Barrington. After the first round, he said the smile and that sense of humor by Ryan Hornback. Victor Pagia actually extended his lead slightly. Oh. Very nice dive there by Adam. Okay, that was a forward two and one half centers off pike. If you're able to call it 2.6. Okay, you watch here, he gets a very, very nice press off the board. Nice tight pike. Okay, good rotation and then extended yeah. reach for the water. And then some nice scores there for a high DD dive. That's gonna help his his cause. Yeah. 
Big points, 52 points. In the last round, we only had one dive over 40. Yeah, I mean, well, now you start to see some little bit higher DDs. They, you know, these are their money dives. Devin's doing a forward turn, we'll have somersault pike, the exact same dive that Adam just did. Another nice dive, okay, back to back, you know, they, one guy goes up there and does a great dive, and the other guy comes back and answers it. Watch here, gets a very, very nice press off the board. Gets some good height. Okay, nice pike there. Good extension into the water. A little, little splash at the end, and otherwise, nice dive. Just a little short of the score by Freeman. But scored a 48.2 in that dive. Brings up Matt Smith. Matt's doing one of his required, an inward dive pike, 1.5. Just got a good lift off the board. Tight pike. Okay, nice dive. So again, what the judges are looking for, they're, they're watching the, the takeoff, the completion of the dive in the air, and then also their entry. And here you'll notice one of the last thing they usually see are your feet, and it's so important to keep those toes pointed because that's the last thing they see, and they remember that. Brings up diver number four, Eric Kelly from Rockford Christian. Very nice dive there. Okay, again, one of his required dives. The other thing that's kind of difficult is, you know, you have to understand there's seven judges, four on one side, three on the other, so they get a bit, little bit different perspective depending upon where they're sitting. Here you watch, good press off the board, nice reach, okay, and good extension into the water. Jake Bohm from Glenbrook South. He's probably dived here a few times, being in the same conference. I would assume he knows these boards probably better than some of the other guys, which is an advantage. Okay. High DD dive there, a little bit short on it. Okay, and that will, you know, will cost him a few points, but, you know, he gets five, five and a half, which is a good score on a high DD dive. He lost his legs just a little bit on the takeoff. And the leader after the first round here in the finals, Victor Pagia. And here's his, to extend his lead. Here's his required dive, just a reverse dive tuck. Look at that height. Okay. Rode that board very, very nicely. If there's anything the judges are going to see there, he arched his back just a little bit on his entry. Otherwise, a beautiful, beautiful dive. Watch this press off the board. The great height he's getting, okay, reaching for them, just arches back just a tad, and that's why I went over a little bit. Got a little hang time going in there. <laughs> exactly, Michael Jordan. Dan Rabilko from Niles West. Okay. Nice dive again. I you know, just want to point out to the, the viewers watching, uh, the last thing they see, unfortunately, is the, you know, are the, the toes or the feet. And there, oh, look nice at those scores. Excellent, excellent job. Yeah, okay, really tight like pike there, one. reaches for the water, and they watch for that toe point at the end. And obviously, look at his toe point. Very little splash at all. Beautiful dive. This is Noah Morgan. Doing a back somersault with two and a half twists in the free position, high DD, 2.7. Yeah, you can see, you know, you heard, the, heard some of the groans from the, from the audience. Okay, he lost it a little bit at the end there. When he takes off here, he gets a good press, but as he starts doing his twist, he loses control a little bit. You can see on the entry there that he is on a little bit of a slant. A little nervous, as I think, as he got a little close to the board, yeah. but did yeah. not hit it. As you look at Chad Jarris from Naperville North. Chad Zoon in reverse, one one half somersault tuck, 2.3. Okay. 
Nice dive there. Uh, if anything, he's out kind of a little bit far from the board. Of course, the previous diver was close, so maybe they know, that might have influenced him a little bit. But if you watch here, okay, comes up here. Okay, good hurdle, nice press. Okay, a little loose on the dive, and I think that's probably what made it go out a little bit on him. Brings up Josh Carson. He was 10th after this last dive. Remember, he had to take a step down and come back up and collected himself very well. That was a nice dive. That was a high, hard dive. It was a forward dive, one and one half somersaults with two twists, a free position, 2.6. Did a nice job on that one, although all the judges don't necessarily agree with that. Okay, we'll watch the takeoff here. Good hurdle, nice press. Okay, over twisted just a little bit on the entry, and maybe that's what some of the judges caught. This young man is second through 10 dives. Doing a forward one, we'll have some stuff with one twist free position. Okay. Not a bad dive. He went over just a tad on the on the entry. Okay. Very nice. He did a little skip uh, hurdle there. Nice press off the board. Tight, tight twist. Just lost control of it a little bit there at the end, and fairly large splash there at the end. And we're just about to complete. The second round here in the finals with Ryan Hornback. Reverse 101 F Somersault Pike, 2.5 DD. Got a nice hurdle there, a nice, nice lift off the board. Got some good height on there. Seemed like he kind of over rotated just a little bit and had to arch his back just to, to help save the dive as they call it. Here you notice, comes up here, good press, nice height. Okay, good tight tuck there, and he had to, you know, just kind of save it a little bit, arch his back, and kind of threw his legs over a little bit. Okay, we're into the final round. Last dive for these guys. 11th dive. And for the seniors, their final one. Yeah, exactly. Oh, nice dive. That was a forward, one one half somersault with two twists free. 2.6. You can tell, you know, not only by looking at the young men when they're doing a good dive, but just watch the entry here. Gets great hurdle, great press off the board, keeps everything nice and tight, and then when he enters the water, he just kind of slides through there like a, you know, a hot knife through butter. The Devon's doing a reverse, one and one half somersault with one and one half twists, free. High DD on his last dive, 2.6. And after the last dive, he is now in second. Very nice dive there. Good body control up, you know, up above the board. Nice entry. Good distance from the board. He should score well on this one. Those are good scores on a 2.6 dive. Here you know, it's a nice hurdle. Good drive off the board. Nice control of the body. Finishes the dive just at board level and drops it in the water. Okay, Matt's doing a reverse one and one half somersault pike, 2.5. Again, another high DD dive. Okay. Nice dive there. Again, probably a little far out. You notice also he had to arch his back to do what we call saving the dive. But let's take a look at it again. He does a little skip hurdle. Some guys use that, some don't. Good press off there, nice tight. And they had to arch his back there at the end just to try to drop it in vertically. Eric Kelly. Doing All forward. juniors and seniors in this event. Nice dive. It's a forward double pike, 2.3. Okay, nice lift off there, nice tight pike position. Kicked out very nicely and dropped himself in feet first, straight up and down. And got good scores for that. Again, if you watch here, nice press, nice and tight, kicks out and drops right in. Crowd like the entry. Jake Bohm. 
It's been a back one and one half somersault pipe, 2.4. Okay, a little short on that one. Okay, we'll have to take a look at the replay and see if we can pick up. Okay, if you watch here, good press. Looks like he's leaning a little bit away from the boards, which makes him flatten out just a little bit. And nice effort. Trying to repeat as state champ. Last look, Victor Pagia. That's why he's defending state champion. Inward two and one half somersault talk. Degree of difficulty, 3.1. Okay, on this replay, ladies and gentlemen, you'll, you'll see. Now yeah, watch this. Great press off the board, nice and tight into his tuck, and just slides right in. Very, very little splash on entry, and that's a very, very difficult dive. One of the nicest things I saw was his competitors, his peers, gave him a huge hand, and the crowd loved it, too. Very yeah. popular. In the exactly. The, the divers appreciate each other. They understand what, what you have to go through to become good at this level. Another nice dive there. I was inward two and one half somersaults. Talk 3.1, another high DD dive. And you'll notice that on the replay that Dan, okay, gets a nice ride, nice ride off the board. Okay, a little off to the side, but saves it and now uh, has a nice kick out there at the end. Niles West had a nice showing here with the Torres brothers and Dan Reboco. Yes. Yeah. Been very well here at the finals. It's nice to see that. You want to see some fresh blood in here all the time. Noah Morgan. Of course, he has a pretty outstanding teammate as well. Yeah, I'd say so. That was reverse one and one half somersault pike, 2.5. Okay, I know his last dive there. He seemed to be a little away from the board, okay, and a little short as they call it. Okay, if you're watching the replay here, nice hurdle, good press here. Okay, but he gets carried away from the board just a little bit, comes up just a tad short, and that's why we have that splash there at the end. Chad's final dive is a forward somersault with two twists in the free position. It's not, you know, nice effort on the part of the young man. It's probably not the way he wanted to, you know, finish up his, you know, the dive for this year, but he's in the state finals. Okay, here we go. We watch this comes up. Not a bad hurdle. Okay, gets too far on the end of the board and that throws him out. And that's why he kind of lost control there at the end and kind of went over with his chest. Josh is doing a back dive, one and one half somersaults pike. Okay, very nice dive to end up on. The tie DD was 2.4. We got a chance to take a look at this again. Okay, nice press off the board. Good tight pike there. Not a bad entry. Okay, offers last dive was inward two and one half somersaults tuck. Again, another 3.1 dive. Those seem to be the highest DDs here today. The third young man in the final round out of a 3.1 DD. Okay, on that dive there, if you notice, he really didn't get a chance to complete the dive before the water kind of met him. And a lot of time that has to do with the fact that you just don't get the dive up high enough. Okay. You want to try to complete the dive before you get back down to the height of the diving board, and he actually completed it below the board. Here's our final diver.
taking a little scoring difficulty, making sure that we have all the judges' scores so we can get the awards. We had a correction on those scores. And now we are ready for the final diver. Ryan's in reverse, one and one half somersault with one and one half twist, free, 2.6. That was a very nice dive. Kind of washed over just a little bit on his entry, but nice ride off the board, nice height. Good mechanics or technique up in the air. Watch here. Okay, nice approach. Good takeoff. Okay, nice and tight there, reaching for the bottom. Okay, nice dive. Victor won it again this year and actually was 33 points higher on his score than he had last year when he won. And a very popular, popular young man as he stands atop the diving world in Illinois. Look at that smile.